Episode 7 of Tokyo Swindlers has a lot of close calls. The finale has everything you want to end a crime thriller, a deceptive recap and a final boss showdown. At the end of the first season, Takumi Sujimoto learned the truth about his boss, Harrison Yamanaka, who worked in the grounds of Sikio's house. I've broken down the key moments of episode 7 for most of episode 6, it seemed like the land scammers weren't going to make a deal with Sikio how to buy the Kuanji Temple land. Lives with Natsumi Kawai, the de facto nun of the temple, on her way, go to, Takumi, and Reiko were desperate to wrap things up with a psych visit. After convincing Mr. Aoyagi that Reiko is the nun Kawai and showing her the five Tathagatas in the temple, the visit ends satisfactorily. They were almost caught on the way out. When Sikiyo House left the temple, the real Natsumi Kawai arrived in a taxi. Fortunately, Goto and Takumi escaped, leaving Reiko to hide in the temple and come up with an escape plan. This is how the fraudsters got a deal with Sikiyo House 11 billion yen. They did it despite outdoing themselves in an almost impossible fraudulent transaction. And you might think that this is the hardest part of the final, but it's not. Hope you like this video. Stay tuned in this channel for latest upcoming updates on this series. And add a bookmark in this channel for further upcoming updates on movies anime and web series. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video please like comment and share our channel. And for latest updates please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon.